Hello, on this video, I'm going to show you how to read a connection string from the app settings.json file. So when you look at your solution explorer, there's a file called app settings.json. So this file comes in the following, a key value pair. This will be a key and this will be a value, a key and a value. And again, a key and a value or it comes in a key and then a set of key and value pairs. So here I have a key and a value again, and I wanna create a new one for me here. I'm gonna create a set of key, and then instead of create a value, I'm gonna create a set of key value pairs. And then inside, I'm gonna create a key and then value. So this will be my key. And then here a key and a value. So because I'm going to use this for a connection string, my key and values are going to have a special name. So instead of being key, I'm going to put here a connection strings. And then the key for the key value pair here is going to be a connection string. And then for the value, it would be a connection string that I copy and paste from a previous project. On the next video, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna talk more about what these here mean. But for now, all I care is that I have a key value pair here, and then this key is very important for us. So Either copy this thing or memorize it. I'm going to the controller now. And right here, I just want to read the value from the app settings. Before we're able to read the values from the app settings.json file, we need the configuration. So I'm going to create here a configuration. configuration. I have a red squiggly here and for that I'm gonna hover over the mouse and then show potential fixes and I'm gonna click on using microsoft.extension.configuration. Now I have the configuration here. Good. My next step is to inject the configuration right here. So config and then the same way you did with the logger we're gonna do with the configuration equals config all right so at this point I am good to go and now I can read from the app settings.json file so for that I'm gonna create a variable connection string equals the configuration dot get connection string and then the name of the key that you set on your app settings so this value here exactly so I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna paste right here at this point I'm reading the connection string from the app settings.json file but I don't really need it for this video. I am going to need it for the next video. So to test it, I'm going to put a stopper right here. And then I'm going to run the debugger. So start debugging. Just to see if the value that I have on the connection string variable is actually the value coming from the app settings.json file. So if I look right here, on the bottom left of my screen. I have here the autos, the locals would work as well. And I have the variable called constring here. And if I look at the value, sure enough, I do have the value that I'm looking for. You can also hover over the connection string variable and then you see the value. Now I'm gonna show you here what would be if I made a mistake right here. So I'm gonna put a couple of um, letters right here 
and purposely make a mistake. I'm going to run the debugger again, run, start debugging. And then if you look at the same place, the connection string now is null. And the same thing right here on the bottom, null. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is easy and you can do it.